Hi everyone, it's the day after my birthday! <laughs> Yesterday was my birthday. I thought it'd be really fun to think back on some of my favorite birthday memories because I've had some pretty awesome birthday parties mostly when I was younger, but I thought it'd just be a really fun chance to reflect on those and I'll show you some really prime nuggets, some pictures that I dug up that I think you'll really enjoy. So let's start at one of the first birthdays I remember. I think I was four, pretty sure this is my fourth birthday, and I had broken my leg. I think a lot of kids were breaking their legs because they were sitting on their parents' bike bar before there were actually legitimate like bike seats. That's how old I am, people. My leg got caught and it broke in the spokes. Yeah, my parents felt awful. But that happened to like three friends of mine. Anyway, we had my birthday party at a park, and what I just vividly remember was the cake my mom made. And it was one of those homemade cakes it was a carousel. It was amazing. I think I... Now I'm going to find the picture actually after I film this, but I'm pretty sure I'm wearing um, a sundress that my mom made that had like hearts or balloons or something on it, like red and blue. And this is really good for my brain, my old brain, to go back and remember what I was wearing that day, but I really remember the cake because it like made a huge impression on me. It had the straws that went around with the little animal crackers to make the animals on the carousel. It was amazing and that's just my really vivid memory from that party. Okay, so fast forward a few years later, my favorite birthday party that I can recall, um, very typical me, was a talent show birthday party and of course I wanted everybody to come and showcase a talent. So my poor friends who were like totally into sports and not musical um, struggled a little bit, but for the most part everybody was pretty great. Somebody saying, I just can't wait to be king. Eileen, did you sing that? I think my friend Eileen sang that. I think Carissa and Kristen, two of my girlfriends who um, danced and we were we danced together. I don't know if they choreographed this or if they had done this routine, but they did, I think it was We Go Together from Greece. And they had the poodle skirts, and it was really cute. I wore... I don't know how mom let me do this. It was kind of sketchy. For Halloween, I think the Halloween before, I had been a dance hall girl. Like a can-can girl. <laughs> um, but, you know, it was like the spaghetti strap kind of fun dress with fishnets and like a garter. I mean, this was like fifth grade, but whatever. I had the ringlets here and the hair up. Kind of like that classic, like... Can Can Girl. I sang Hey Big Spender, which is pretty much a prostitute's song. It's from Sweet Charity and it was on my like original karaoke tape that came with my karaoke machine. Yeah, super inappropriate. Hey, I didn't know what I was singing about and it was a lot of fun. So we had a wood deck and that had posts. So there was like the perfect space for me to hang sheets to make a curtain. I think we did like the whole little glitter curtain for the top part and then we had I think just sheets to make a curtain though so it really looked like a little theater and it was out on the deck and I actually remember specifically I was kind of annoyed because my friend Paige I love you Paige she played the piano she was great but we had to go inside to see her talent and I was irritated <laughs> because I was a little misdirector and I had everything a certain way I was like well you know I wanted everyone to be on stage so that was just a random memory that I have. My friend Anne, Anne I don't remember what you did, but you brought, um, you had an exchange student, a Japanese exchange student, and I remember she sang, pretty sure, she sang I Will Always Love You in Japanese by Whitney Houston. That was phenomenal. So that was pretty much, that goes down in history as my best birthday. Well, okay, so now fast forward to um, the big birthday. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you how old I am. But there was a big birthday recently. 21. Woo! We went to Vegas. I had never been to Las Vegas. Peter surprised me and we got to the airport. Okay, this, this does trump everything. We saw two shows, two Cirque du Soleil shows in one night. That's totally how I roll. A 7 o'clock, a 10 o'clock. Peter knows me well. The reason why, probably why it trumps everything is because I actually got pregnant. Ah, surprise! Is that too personal? So that's why that birthday trumps everything. <laughs> So one other fun birthday memory is a birthday that I share with one of my birthday buddies and that is Devin Supertramp. We share the same birthday, same day, same age. We were literally born in two different places but around the same time. So that's pretty cool. And on our golden birthday, his parents live in Oregon so it was crazy. He was visiting and um, we went up and our friend Lindsay Sterling, wow I'm name dropping a lot, 
but it was just a fun party because Lindsay was there and Devin and his parents celebrated our birthdays with us and his mom like went all out. She did like all themed golden. It was just really neat. Linda, that was so fun and that was a great memory. I've had some really good ones the last few years. I don't remember last year's at all, so maybe it wasn't very exciting, but I've been lucky and had some great birthday celebrations. So that brings me to this year's birthday. Um, I had a really wonderful day yesterday. I actually did have a little surprise in there from Peter. He called me from the airport. He wasn't able to celebrate with me, which is totally fine though. He had a really neat work trip. But he called and said, you have a pedicure and a massage scheduled, which was like very wonderful. Such a treat. I felt very spoiled yesterday, which I guess is the point, right? Um, but it was really fun. And then had dinner with mom and dad and Ash. We had dinner at my favorite restaurant. and. Just felt pampered and it was, you know, really nice to be with loved ones on my birthday. And mom made homemade strawberry ice cream, which was amazing. That was a really fun little family day and then I'm actually having a party. This year the most perfect thing was set up. If y'all remember the movie Labyrinth with David Bowie, um, I think it's Jim Henson. It's like all the creepy puppet goblin troll things with Jennifer Connelly. It's a real classic from the 80s and I kind of grew up on that movie and they are showing it in a park that's two blocks from our house so it's like a public outdoor movie night showing of Labyrinth so it was kind of like are you kidding it's perfect it's just three days after my birthday so tomorrow night I'm having friends over and we're going to have dessert here and then head over to the park and watch Labyrinth I'm so excited I feel like I should probably wear something kind of 80s. So thank you so much for watching. It's been really fun going down memory lane and I really hope you enjoyed um, those classic pictures that I'm not I'm not afraid to show. I'm, I'm proud of who I am. It's really fun to look back on your birthdays and thank you for the birthday wishes. Really, I was overwhelmed. Instagram was so sweet and Facebook and everybody and Twitter, which I'm getting better at. Everyone was so generous and loving and Thank you, I felt really loved on my birthday this year, so. I wish y'all could come watch Labyrinth with me, but maybe if you're feeling the spirit in tribute, um, you can have your own viewing on Friday night. All right, everyone, take care, and hope you're having a great summer. I'll see you next week. Bye!